Welcome and thank you for taking a look at my video. Uh, I want to do a quick presentation on the interchangeability of the barrels of the Dan Wesson revolver. Uh, this is a standard revolver made in Monson, Mass. in about 1986. Got an 8-inch barrel and a standard grip. I'm going to show you how anyone, if you don't be a gunsmith, can interchange this barrel. First we have to do is get a selection of barrels. I'm going to change this from the 8-inch to a 6-inch barrel. Do this, you need a tool to remove the barrel nut. Uh, the standard Dan Wesson tool is this little multi tool which has some hex wrenches on it, and the barrel removal tool is built into this plastic casing. I'm going to put that aside right now in favor of this aftermarket part made by EWK. It does the same function, doesn't have all the hex wrenches on it. it has an aluminum insert, doesn't scuff up your barrel. First thing you want to do, of course, the gun safe, is make sure the gun's not loaded. Push down the latch, check the cylinders, make sure it's not loaded. We're good to go. Because when we're dealing with the business end of the gun, you're going to take the barrel removal tool. It's going to fit into the slots that are in the end of the barrel nut here. Take that in there. You're going to put a good amount of pressure on there. Twist, loosen it up, and then just spin it off. In fact, I'm going to put the tool down. Just do the rest of it with my fingers. All right. This outer sleeve here is called the barrel shroud. That just slides off just like that. See, it's hollow. It has a pinhole here that meets with this pin sitting right there. Next thing we're going to do is we're simply just going to unscrew the barrel itself. It's just an empty tube. It's got the lands and the grooves inside threaded on both ends. One side to receive the barrel nut, the other going to the uh, frame. They are different in that the part that goes in the frame has got your uh, forcing cone in it. Okay, pull that out. We're going to take the new barrel, 6 inch barrel, and that just goes right back into the frame where we just removed the 8 inch. We're going to get this almost snugged up to the cylinder. And before we do, we're going to come over here, we're going to grab this little gadget. This is a uh, feeler gauge, it's a .006, comes standard with the gun. You can use any automotive uh, feeler gauge of the same width. It's going to slide right in there between the barrel and the cylinder. And I'm going to snug that in. Now, I don't want it too tight. I want it where if I turn it upside down it stays, but I can easily pull it in and out. Still a little too tight. We'll back that off. It just slides real in, just like that. Take our shorter shroud now, note the pin hole and the pin, just slides right on the barrel. Barrel nut, make sure you put your grooves on the outside, your slots. Start that, grab your barrel tool, you want to keep this kind of tight against the gun as you do that, you just got to snug it up, don't have to get old manly with it. Comes out, and you have now changed the gun from being an 8 inch gun to being a 6 inch gun. Uh, the gun is modular in other ways. The grips are very easy to take on and off. Using your multi-tool, stick that in the, screw in the screw in the butt end of the grip. The screw just falls out. Pull that out like that. Select another grip. I have a grip here, custom made by uh, Lawrence Bruce of Georgia. Snaps in place, nice and snug. Screw it in. And you've basically just changed the entire look and feel of the gun. Thank you for looking at my video.